Boomer Sooner. You can feel the lack of will to win, and they just kept running the ball. And if that wasn't the most f***ing insulting thing to you as a Nebraska fan, I don't know what to tell you. If you're... Trap House. And so it begins. As we advance and the season commences. UTEP, you on the clock, baby. Big Boomer. Not the little. You know what it is, player. Trap House. With the unveilment of the depth chart heading into week one, your boy Big Trap could not help himself from the occasional hmm, oohs and ahs as I peruse the starters and rotational players as we prep for the minors of El Paso. As we continue on, I'ma keep harping about this incoming freshman class. The Predator, Clayton Smith, outside linebacker. Let's trap about it. Clayton was the first big stud that my man Air Ray Raleigh stole from Texas this signing season. While combing the depth chart, the first thing I wanted to see was where within the rotation will the big homie Clayton Smith wind up. And to much chagrin, the six foot four young sophomore was nowhere to be found. That's why I didn't want to just drop a vid on the depth chart until I did my best to figure out why he isn't on this week's roster. Now the big homie Brandon, and channel member at that, tapped in with me and he stated that Coach Roof said plain and clear that this roster, this depth chart, it's totally performance based. And that's when I really became disappointed because Clayton is way too talented to not be dressing, bro. This is performance driven uh, and I really don't care what class they're in. I don't care the name on the back of their jersey. I care about the name that's on the front of their jersey. And that's that's what we worry about. Whoa, 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 coach. Your boy Big Trap ain't complaining, nor am I critiquing the coaching staff decisions on who is where. I promised myself a long time ago to always call it straight up as soon as I started doing this, bro. And to always do my best to be supportive and in no way, shape, form, or fashion try to armchair coach what's going on within the locker room nor on the field to play. Now, if let's say we're up a few possessions with momentum on our side and we go for, let's say, an onside kick and we don't get onside kick, if we start doing corny stuff like that, pun intended, then your boy Big Trap will start griping. You know Big Trap is all about A-gap dominance. That guard center guard box, or as I like to call it, the phone booth, it is such a vital area of importance. It's pretty much where all the communication takes place within the offense. And if you are getting whipped in the heart of the trenches, you will struggle, bro. Shucks, this time last season is where the big homie Jeffrey Johnson showed up and put all of Sooner Nation on notice about our interior line issues. Now, we all knew that both Sexton and Taylor would not be playing the tackle position early in their career. And I'm a big fan of having Taylor backing up the OG Chris Murray at guard, bro. Taylor has nice feet. He can pull. He can climb to the next level. And learning under Murray, that can't be anything but beneficial, you know. And we all know McCade is as nasty as they come. A complete old school offensive lineman mauler but i'm also intrigued by tyler guyton he may press the issue as the season advances so morris and big anton they can't get complacent as if those spots are etched in stone nothing was more important um and summer camp was another phase of that uh but just re-establishing what OUB and a is mims and stoop working the slot of course with Weiss and Jaleel outside on the numbers, that's a nice quartet. 
and I love the talent that we have been cultivating within the tight end position. Braden is looking elite, in my opinion, maybe not Mandrew's elite, but he can surprisingly stretch the field, he's got fluid hips, he's looking quite stacked after a summertime of messing with Smitty, and he can go up there and get it, bro. So I'm expecting big things from the tight end position with young Caden Helms and Jaden. We can do some things, and Daniel Parker, we know he's nasty, he's going to be beneficial within the red zone as well. But that's part one of my depth chart breakdown, bro. I'll have part two out by tomorrow morning. Because I really want to dig deep into that secondary. I also want to talk about Jaron Kanick. How he is now transitioning into the middle linebacker position. I also want to speak about Justin Harrington. I want to speak about the cheetah position. It's a lot, man. Jaden Davis. So we'll be back tomorrow morning, bro. But as we continue on. It's game week, bro. Boom, a sooner. Hit the like button. Bro, I appreciate the heck out of y'all, man. Trap house. We finally here. As we continue on, Big Boomer, not the little. You know what it is, player. Trap House Applying pressure all season player 22 to infinity Turn me I admit my soul was lost Running from the rapture Mine was hypnotized Like Biggie driving backwards Law willing is just my testimony Used to stuff the sandwich bags Until my hands were cramped homie Paint a vivid picture with the word play Romans 12, 19 Vigis is God, that's what the words say Chum feel water, I survive amongst the great whites Skelly bypass, Oak Brook magic circle late nights Practice with purpose, okay? Prepare with purpose. Effort with, effort with technique, okay? Effort with technique. There's gotta be precision in everything we do. And an all-in commitment to doing our best. That's what it's about, okay? Just do your best today. Take all the pressure and anxiousness off your shoulders today and just say, you know what? I control my best, nothing else. Circumstances don't control me doing my best. I'm just gonna do my best. I'm going to do my best, okay? You got to win in the mind before we get out there on that field. Okay, let's make it count. Okay, let's be great today. All right, let's be great today. Let's do it together. All right, DTS. One, two, three. DTS.